I almost missed that packing buckets up here to feed the cows. They were right there against the gate that swung back against the other gate. Here's this big bang and they bounce off it, come out swinging. It's better than Friday night fights. But now they're off in their respective corners, I guess. So I better get to feeding. Wish I could have got the other 10, 15 seconds of that that I saw. But oh well, such is life. And blowing and raining like hell all morning. It's still raining, but now there's a bright spot in the sky. Makes it hard to see with all the glare. Oh well. I'm still not getting very far on this thing. But got the lines strapped on here where I'm going to do them. I'm going to leave them slack on up to there. Got the others strapped up underneath in there a little bit where you can't see it. Figuring it to the pump. and yeah, Glenn had offered to let me bring a piece home that was a little long without an end on it and then figure my length to go to that pump and do that. You know, I'd rather have too much than not enough. Especially where I've already redone a little bit on mounting the pump. So the pressure line is going to be sticking out like that. Which is fine. That leaves me room to get the brace in. That's why I wanted to get these lines so I could see where I had for room for the brace. I'll just take you around here. <laughs> Easier. You know, it doesn't stick out where it's going to get caught. It'll be in a little more because I can... Pull it in a little bit more. It's not tight yet. The return line is the one that's I'm having a little trouble getting it right because unfortunately on these reservoirs, the return line, you can see it in there. Let me get the light that, that Wade said he didn't notice yesterday. That's the return line with a cap on the end of it so don't drip. No matter what you do, that sucker's pointed down toward the bottom of the block. And I'm not going to try to bend it because that's one easy way to either break it loose from the reservoir or kink it and then have to start over. So I think I got it figured. It'll tie up in there and then make a little S down into it, which will keep it out of the way of the brace. And I think you can see their little, little tweaky there. Pump needs to be there, then the belt's straight. And hey, at least it's V-belts and not serpentines. I can be off. Serpentines, if you're off even a couple thousandths of an inch on one pulley, they won't stay on. So Anyway, that's what I'm dinking with, among other things. Just chilling with Mom. That's what they do. That's the new one over here. He was just eating. He got kind of a poopy butt by the looks of it. Um, I noticed the other day, I don't know if anybody saw it in any video yet, but his right eye, kind of bug-eyed. It's gotten better. It can shut, so there's not much you can do about it. Just means you can stare at us easier with it, right? But at least he's on the right mama, and maybe this one's not going to the right mama. Who knows? I don't know. I can't see their tag from here. But, eh, his right eye still looks a little bigger. That happens sometimes. They're in the wrong position before they come out. Or they hit the wrong position on the way out. And we got one over there sleeping. Two over there sleeping, sorry. I knew there was another one in there. I'm headed in for lunch. Figured I better check cows. That's what I do before I go to lunch. And uh, old No Milk over there. Her calf's doing good. You can just kind of see it. It's just the other side of her underneath her neck. Curled up underneath the edge. <laughs> Where's dry. And number two, she's been giving him 
half to a full bottle every night. Keep them going. And what a life. Play around all day, listen to that sound hit the roof. I get tired of that sound. Two, four, six. I always count calves because you never know. I mean, one could have got out and slipped underneath the fence in the lot and it's laying down there in the bottom for coyote bait. I don't need that. And if you happen to get an extra one in here, you see if it's got a tag on it. If it ain't got a tag, well, somebody's got a new baby. Or one of these over here slid out, but it's a little darker over here. The two over here, they both have their tags. I think we just interrupted that one's lunch. Say, so what's going on, man? No, you didn't see nobody staring at any teats around here. And I, I'm, I'm looking down here at the girls outside. We'll zoom around. And this one, I think, is just chilling. It was getting some loving off of mama. Well, there's two without tags. The bug-eyed one over there, he don't have a tag yet. And this one's up here by herself because number one said this cow was being a bitch when she was down in the maternity pen. Wanting to chase the other calves around. Her calf likes this spot. A little dirty in the rest of it. Also likes right up here by the water trough, which a lot of them like it over here. But today, this is one that's getting me. This door never blows in the wind. And I'm really not sure. Oh, well, that's what's going on. Somebody came through it and didn't get it shut. That would be why it was banging in the wind this morning. It's supposed to cook right there. Had me going this morning. Couldn't figure it out because it never, never blows in the wind. Oh, well, now I know. Find something for you later, I hope. Okay, it's finally really actually done. You saw everything from yesterday. That ugly looking bolt right there with the heavy washers. Mm -hmm. I actually have a light on in here so you can kind of see. If I can get over far enough. The strap piggybacks on top of the top bolt that the main mount's on. And it's slotted at this end. Of course, the other slot, so it doesn't matter too much on height, but that's where it came out. I had to shorten it quite a bit, do some rebending. And what I took out, part of what I took out, I backed it up with just to keep it stiffer. Should be a lot better than it was on the other machine because on the other one, well, it was clear out here. The end of this was literally about here, which that put the whole pump out that far. So it had a lot of room to vibrate, and it shouldn't be able to vibrate there. I hope not. We'll know when we can finally fire it. Now on to the next part. Get some help one of these days. I'll get a seat in here, and we can start figuring linkage for things and whatever else. I'm thinking I might work on heater hoses now. I wish I had new stuff, but the old stuff we took off that cotton picker's in good shape. It's just got green paint on it, you know, because... God knows you you can't paint it before you put hoses on. You gotta paint it after. That way the hoses flake off and look ugly. Thought about maybe painting the hoses black over the green, but it'll flake off the green and it'll show the freaking ugly green. No offense, Tony. No, green really isn't ugly, but you know. I just don't want green speckled black hoses. Well, I started getting that buttoned up. Got the wire loom hooked up right there and cleaned up and hanging down below. I need to change those two tubes they use to connect the heater hoses. And there's almost a hole in that one right above the clamp, so I'm going to shorten them up. I'll get the tubes up underneath the cover so they're not out in the weather. And my phone's screwing up because, you know, they don't make these things so you can keep them very long. I've got about a year and a half on this one, and it's out of storage no matter what I delete. And I don't keep videos on here once I send them up on YouTube, so. Anyway, pump's over there. This is all done. Feeding's done. I'm going in. Thank you for watching, everyone.